Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create natural comb filtering just by layering samples. So, first I'll go to the arrange window, I'll get rid of this MIDI track, and I'll create another audio track by pressing Command T. Then I'll open both of them by pressing the right key, and then pressing up, and then pressing the right key again. You can just do that really quickly just by going like that, and you open both channels. I just like to do it because it's quick. Um, so, I'll load in an arm in loop just because it's a nice loop to mess around with and um, I'll just warp it so by default I have my uh, warping to open on repitch and I do that because when we start stretching these notes out it sounds kind of cool having all the drums in different pitch so I'll just find the start point here there's a little bit of a trumpet or something at the start so that's pretty much the first hit just there so I'll just cut that and then I'll put this on the grid um, so we want it to be a 4 bar loop so we've pretty much got to stretch it out to this 7th bar here and I'll just make it 160 BPM. I'll take warping off before I do that actually. So 160, there we go, now I have to make it a bit shorter. So I'll just put the click on and warp it to the click. So you can see how when we started to warp it, it started to make um, different pitch drums. <clears throat> so I'll just quickly warp this. Get them all on the beat. <clears throat> I might just take this little section here, so we'll just cut everything off there and there, just highlight it all and press delete. So now I've got a little loop. And it kind of sounds cool how all the drums are pitched differently. Having it on repitch, they're all pitched differently now, so you see this section between these two warp markers is now 130 BPM, this section between here is 138, and this section here is 143, etc. Um, so yeah, now to create a natural comb filter, we have to duplicate the sample, and then we just have to offset it uh, just a little bit, so it kind of puts it slightly out of phase with the other one. So I'll just hold my command key, and we can just move it a little bit, and now if you listen to it, it should sound like it's got some weird phaser on it. And that's pretty much what we want. So we'll just duplicate that four times. And I'll just offset them all slightly differently in each bar. So this one I might start it a little bit earlier. Hold the command key again and just drag it a little bit before it. This one here, I might just start it a couple of milliseconds later. Just there. Just delete that. And then the last one. <coughs> I might just set it before it again, but just slightly. So just the tiniest little bit before it. So now if we listen to them all separately, you'll, it sounds like there's all different kinds of phases on it, so I'll just play that quickly. So yeah, um, it's pretty interesting kind of phasing sound, I think. and. Um, yeah, so hopefully you got something out of this. I'll put this up on my website for you to download so you can have a look and play around with it and stuff. And yeah, go to mrbillstunes.com and take it easy.